and it's been three weeks since I've been at Everstoke, so I got to get right to work. There's some berms I want to start working on, uh, rock rolls, a whole bunch of stuff. If you watched my last video, I told you I was going to Oklahoma to watch my daughter graduate from the Army boot camp. That went very well. She is now a soldier of the United States Army, which is pretty sweet. It was a fun trip, but now it's time to get back to work. You can see the snow is melting really fast here at Everstoke. I imagine by next weekend, which by the time you watch this video on YouTube, the snow will probably be all gone. It's funny how I was kind of talking about that last harumph of snow coming in in March. Well, it came in and we had almost two feet here at Everstoke, but it's melted fast. So don't let the storm keep you from coming up here because we're only at 4,300 feet. Stuff goes quick. It's not like Truckee. It's not like Donner. It's not like these other places high up in the mountains. It goes fast. Trails will be open soon. I hope to see you out here. Well, Brian just put out a really killer video right before the snowstorm of riding almost every trail out here at Everstoke. He did a great job of mapping it. Is now on Trail Forks. So I hope you guys go check that out. Start making your way up to Everstoke and riding. You can see there is some drainage things we are still going to work on. I put some pavers down here so the water could run across the trail without eroding it. I'll have to tweak it a little bit more. Um, you know, just some minor things here. Mostly the shady spots have snow, but right here you can see most of the road. Anything in the sun is already gone. Temperatures are getting warm. The place is getting more and more beautiful. I'm ready to rake out all these trails, get them rideable, get you guys out here. Have some great times. All right, here's the first berm I want to work on. It's kind of a, it's already pretty decent for just natural, you know, what I cut in. And it's not quite 180 degrees, but anyway, I want to make this really good, really badass. This is the one that takes you down through here and you got to catch a lot of speed to get up that next hill. So I do want this one perfect. how freaking stinky good this dirt is man this is nice this is beautiful stuff to build with right now so this first berm is pretty much almost done i'm gonna butter up a little bit more there pimp out a little more over here kick some ass right there pimp this out right there and this will be a, a done deal it looks a lot better than before so let me knock this one out we're gonna move to the next one i ain't gonna waste any more time videoing this one though so this berm right here is pretty steep and it's got this ugly hump. It's kind of a hunchback of a berm right now. And there's not much of a catch here. So this will slow you down. So that giant hump has to come out and move right over here along this side. And then I want to take it down a few inches up there, take that excess dirt and bring it all the way over you know, there. And a lot of this material will work its way over here as well. That way make it nice and wide. Well, this will make the trail about 20, 30% better. I knocked out the giant hump. I still want to work on it there a little bit more, but I think gonna need a second person, I think. It's too much dirt for one person to move, but I'll definitely widen this out quite a bit. It looks a lot better. Now I could get the Rokon up and down this with no problem. Before it was just like really steep. I now have, I look at it and it's, it's pretty nice burn. Really came along. Anyway, we're gonna move to the next project and that's gonna be the rock roller. It's nice to be able to actually get the Rokon out and start riding in this trail, making the tweaks and touch-ups and everything because 
all the work I've done up to this point has just been, let's get the line cut in, let's get the line cut in. The other berm I worked on was just right over there. It's already a lot better. I rode the Rokon up that and it's just like, ah, oh, butter. So the pimping has begun. Let's get up to the next project. Okay, standing right here in front of me is the next rock roller I want to work on, on the APT trail. I've already started collecting some rocks. I just want a nice rock roll out, shore up that bottom, you know, make a nice easy transition right into this trail right here. Boom. We got the easier line on the my right. It'll be on your left side coming down. As always, I'm gonna get a little bit more of the smaller rock, fit it into all these small joints, play around with it a touch more, make sure it's all locked in. Let's take a look at it from the top. Yeah, that looks good. I, coming into that, that doesn't look scary to me. My biggest fear is those not being locked in right now, but I think I'd roll this as it is right now, and then roll right out to that line right here. Making things badass and moving on. Let's get down here. Yeah, I had a hell of a time getting the rock on up this part right here. So I had to move all the snow out of the way. I was just spinning my wheels. It's ridiculous. It is a nice warm 55 degrees here at Everstoke. Trails are melting fast. I've been riding the rock on up here. You can see some of the shady spots do have some snow, but hopefully I'll be able to get it in an official riding like Brian was able to not too long ago. I am on the last project right here. I gotta make this rock roller. I gotta move all that brush out of the way. I gotta widen out this berm a little bit. It's a little too close to the tree, about four, five, six inches this way. Boom. On the back side of that rock, I need to fill in a bunch of dirt up there. I got a lot of material to move. All right, let me set this sucker down. We'll get in a good position. We'll go to time lapse. Well, this is by far the best dirt I've ever had the privilege of digging with. I already widened this out quite a bit. I'm gonna berm it up a little bit more, pack this in. Look at this descent, or this rock roll. Come over here from the side. It doesn't look like much on camera, but I might poop myself trying to roll this one. I'm not sure if I'll do it or not. It looks awesome. I really got to make sure that berm's good. Cause you're gonna get a lot of speed out of that. So let me make that a little bit better. Then we're gonna move into this spot right up here. I hope the dirt up there is just as good as it, it I hope the dirt up there is as good as it is down here. I can't see things like that too easy. All right, lots to do, lots to do. this level 1000 this is an awesome point for me guys because i feel like i haven't been able to show my true talents of actually building features it's all been mostly cutting in trails doing some minor things this was a do two projects kill two birds with one stone basically i got a nice berm right here now bam coming on the outside line boom check that out that is badass you're gonna be able to rail down that i might clean up the outer side a little bit more give yourself Give uh, everybody a little more clearance between that rock. Boom. And then you got to do a nice slow roll down that. 
that's really steep. I may have outdone myself here. I've done stuff like that before, but I'm out here by myself and a broken neck would be unfortunate. Look at that. Look at that from the side. And I'll, you know, after riding it, I'll probably dial, dial it in a bit more. Boom, look at that. Woo Hopefully, I'll get the courage to ride all these rock rolls. At least I'm gonna ride this trail. It's gotta thaw out a little bit more in a few spots, and I'm gonna ride it tomorrow afternoon. It's awesome. The weather is insane. Get out here, please. It's amazing. I've worked my butt off. Please come out. This is the first rock roll, the lower one. This is probably the easiest of the three. Oh man. I decided against doing the big roller. I want to see someone else do it and have someone else out here. Live to ride another day. Oh yeah, I could fix up that little berm down there. Make that nice. Whoa. Oh, that's gonna be good. A little touch up there. I'm gonna do the drop this time. Oh. Now this is the trail that just gets you around the property. All the super fun, to, I mean, it's fun. But all the real fun downhill trails are going to meet into this somewhere. <sighs> On the uh, north side of the property. <sighs> Whoa. I forgot how to ride. That's gonna burn up a lot. It's one of the berms I fixed up this weekend. All right, it's nice. Here's the other one. Now I'm gonna put a culvert here. That's gonna widen, get you around that tree. That's gonna widen as well. to the end okay guys i'm wrapping up this weekend i hope you guys enjoyed those rock roll features i built i rolled two out of three i will try to conquer that other one i just need to get in the zone got to get back on the bike a lot it's been a while but i know it's in my wheelhouse i do appreciate you guys following along on all my rides and builds be sure to make life an adventure come up to everstoke and ride some rock roll features thank you very much